Welcome to the Defeating Epilepsy Foundation YouTube channel. In this presentation, we will discuss what carbamazepine is, the history of carbamazepine, how carbamazepine works, side effects, and risks. Make sure to like our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell to be notified of future videos. Please click on our donate link in the description section below and donate today. Your donation helps us to make a difference for those battling epilepsy. We appreciate your support. This presentation is for educational purposes only. Any questions you have regarding your current medication, changes, or any level of treatment, please contact your physician for any medical advice. The Defeating Epilepsy Foundation provides only educational resources and will not provide any medical advice when it comes to medication or treatment. According to Mayo Clinic, carbamazepine can also be used to control seizure activity. Carbamazepine can also be used as a mood stabilizer and to manage pain. Carbamazepine is categorized as an anticonvulsant. Carbamazepine is also known as Carbitol, Epitol, Equatrol, Tegretol, and Tegretol Extended Release. Carbamazepine was discovered by chemist Walter Schindler in Switzerland. Carbamazepine was first marketed to treat trigeminal neuralgia in 1962 and then as an anticonvulsant in the UK in 1965. Carbamazepine has been FDA approved in the United States since 1968. Conditions such as epilepsy, bipolar disorder, trigeminal neuralgia, ADHD, schizophrenia, phantom limb, complex regional pain syndrome, borderline, and post-traumatic stress disorder can be treated with carbamazepine. According to PubChem, Carbamazepine treats seizures and symptoms of trigeminal neuralgia by inhibiting sodium channels. Carbamazepine causes the effects by binding to the voltage-dependent sodium channels and preventing action potentials, which normally leads to stimulatory effects on nerves. Potential side effects that patients can experience on carbamazepine are dizziness, thinking abnormal, difficulty speaking, uncontrollable shaking of a part of the body, constipation, and dry mouth. There can be serious side effects when taking carbamazepine. Call your doctor at once if you experience the following. Confusion, rash, fast, slow, or pounding heartbeat, yellowing of the skin or eyes, dark urine, pain on the right side of your stomach area, loss of appetite, nausea or vomiting, vision changes, fatigue, swelling of the face, eyes, eyelids, lips, or tongue, difficulty swallowing or breathing, headache, increase in seizures, difficulty concentrating, confusion, weakness, unsteadiness, severe rash with one or more of the following, fever, muscle aches or pains, red or swollen eyes, blisters or peeling skin, mouth swords, swelling of the face or neck. Carbamazepine is primarily metabolized in the liver. Physicians will monitor liver enzyme levels to make sure damage does not occur. Do not eat grapefruit or drink grapefruit juice while taking carbamazepine. Carbamazepine can cause Steven Johnson syndrome or toxic epidermal necrosis. Both can cause severe damage to the skin and intestinal organs. In conclusion, carbamazepine is an anticonvulsant that can be used to treat seizures, mental illness, and trigeminal neuralgia. Conditions such as epilepsy, bipolar disorder, trigeminal neuralgia, ADHD, schizophrenia, phantom limb, complex regional pain syndrome,
borderline and post-traumatic stress disorder can be treated with carbamazepine. Consult with your doctor before making any changes to your treatment plan. To learn more about carbamazepine, please check out the resources used in the presentation today. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media pages. We would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below or email us at info at defeatingepilepsy.org. Thank you for your support and together we will defeat epilepsy. Check out our other great videos and subscribe today. You have the power to defeat epilepsy.